Fantastic Nation. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a koala bear. For this art tutorial, um, you can use felt markers and wax crowns and follow me as I teach you how to draw this cute little koala. Let's get started. All right, Nationers, we're going to start off by drawing a nice curved line towards the right side of the paper. Arch up like a beautiful rainbow, then come down and out to some zigzag lines. Come back in, and we're going to do a nice sweeping curve along the bottom. Next, we're going to draw two ears. We're going to go all up and out. Zigzag lines, zigzag lines. There's no right or wrong way to do them. One of my ears is ah, going to be off the page there. Zigzag lines to where we'll see it. Then we're gonna add some wonderful curved shapes in either ear for the hair and the different colored uh, fur for the ears. In the center of the face, draw a large oval then we're going to add a curved line towards one side on either side of that oval which is the nose we're going to draw a circle just like so so draw your circle in each eye Draw another circle. This will, will remain white. And add two smaller circles in each. Now we're going to just gently color around those circles with our markers. Awesome. Next, we're going to draw a koala arm. We're going to draw the top of the arm and then the fuzzy bottom. So from one side we're going to sweep down, up and over. So that'll be the top of the arm and top of the hand, or paw really. Okay, add cute little fingers. Add some zigzag lines along the bottom for some fur texture. Add some very messy zigzag lines there. That's just kind of like the white chest hair on our koala. Um, we're gonna do the back leg. So every now and then I like to add some texture. Add a nice long foot. And then back up part way. I'm gonna leave it there because I am going to draw a branch and then bring it down kind of behind his head there there we go Okay, so I just want to make sure I get my tree there before I continue. Now that the tree is in, I'll come back and add, add some details there later. But right now, we want to make sure we get the rest of the koala bear onto here. So from the head, we're going to go out, add some zigzags periodically for some fur texture, and connect to the back leg. Add a little tail and finish your koala off with a nice fuzzy belly. We do want to add some leaves. That is part of this koala's reason for having climbed up. So my koala needs some vegetation. You can feel free to add whatever other details you want in your picture. So thinking about what might be around your um, composition, what your koala might be doing, if you want some texture or some little bugs or butterflies on the, on the tree, um, or other details on your koala. Maybe you want to simply 
add some zigzag lines here and there for added texture just along the body. All of this is up to you as the artist. So please feel free to get creative as you do this. Once you're done with um, adding all your details, you can find something to color with. Today I'm going to be using felt markers to color my koala and I'm also going to use wax crayons for the shading and some other details. So that's what, that's what I'm going to use, but please feel free to experiment with whatever mediums that you have around your home or classroom or um, something that you might just be interested in at the time. Today I'm just feeling interested in felt markers, so that's what I'm going to pick, but you pick what makes um, you feel happy or what inspires you. So at this time, we're gonna take a little trip down coloring road.
All right, so for shading, we're going to first start off with a black wax crown, whether it's a large one or a small one, that's your choice. And then I'll add some highlights with a white wax crayon. Mine, of course, is a half a crayon because that's usually what I have left after I break all my crayons. I'm definitely one of the people that breaks every crayon. It's just how I grow. Okay, so we're just gently um, shading around the limbs, under feet, on the tree where anything touches, because that would be a shadow. Definitely under the neck there, we want to make it nice and dark. And around the cheeks. I even like to add just a gentle shadow around my eyes because it's so cute. There we go. We can even do it around the nose. Beautiful. Okay, and now we're going to take our white. And we're going to color firmly because that's, well, for me, that I'm doing it on gray felt marker. That's a pretty dark color to overcome. So if it's a pretty dark color, I'm gonna press firmly. But you can see it's really softening all those kind of um, felt markers, right? Like I'm really using just very basic art mediums. They're not fancy, they're just your average tools that you're gonna find at home or at school. And, but you can you can do a lot with these things, right? By layering and blending, you can make things happen. And that is the beauty of art. Ooh, definitely add a little bit of highlights to those cheeks. Make them pop. And even on that nose piece there. Gorgeous. Wonderful. Before I end, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading to this tree just to bring it to life a little more. The more contrast and detail we have, the more interest will be brought to our art piece, making it um, something that captures an audience. It'll definitely be an eye catcher, this one. So once you're done, your koala is ready to go. You can just use it for fun or display it around your house. All right, Artastic Nation, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to draw a koala. If for more art lessons, please visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. If you are a teacher, please find my Teachers Pay Teacher Store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT, and there you'll find 500 art lessons, units, and tutorials. As well, please visit Ms. Artastic's collection to find more art resources there, and also my cool art teacher shirts. Um, lots of art teacher shirts and apparel for both general teachers and for art teachers. Well, that's it. Please join me next Tuesday, as every Tuesday I do premiere my episodes at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you next time.